Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today we're going to be talking about editing text in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up AI and create a new artboard. Then we're going to go up here to Window and select Pathfinder. This is going to open our Pathfinder window over here in the sidebar. You'll go over here and select text and type out the text that you want. I've already typed out mine to say font bundles and the font that we are using today is Ludicudu. Go ahead and select your text by using the select tool and resize as you need. We'll just go ahead and keep ours right here. And now what we want to do is be able to access each letter and its anchor points. To do this, we want to do the outlines. If you right click and go to create outlines, it'll create the outlines on the letter. Next, we're going to right click again and ungroup the text. So now each letter is on its own individual path. So right now we're using the select tool. We're going to go ahead and go over to our direct selection tool and you can see all of the anchor points that are on each letter. Let's look at the F and say we want to change this letter to make the F a little bit wider. You can actually hold down and select all of these anchor points at once and then just hit shift in the up key and you see the letter fills in as you make the letters bigger. The color still stays with the letter. So you can move them all at once or you can alternately just select one and move it up or you can select both outside ones and move them up. But if you're wanting an even move of the whole entire letter, you want to select them all at once, shift and move up. Okay. Another adjustment that you can make with the Pathfinder is overlapping the letters on different parts of the text. To do this, we want to go ahead and move each letter to overlap. So we'll just go through and put them on top of the other letters. Now once you've moved everything, if you want to adjust the angle of letters and how they touch each other, you can play around with the handle and just turn things around a little bit. But we have everything overlapped, so now we're going to go ahead and select, we'll start with the O. We're going to make a copy, and hit Command V to paste, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And now we're going to take our letter, let's just zoom in a bit, and we're putting it on top of the original letter. But we're going to click it over just a few spaces to the left. And now we're going to select the F as well and go over here to the Pathfinder and do minus front. So you see it took out part of the original letter we had and also the part that was touching the F. You can do this as many times as you want to make the letter look smaller or larger. We go over here and do the same. We're just going to put it on top of our original letter and just click over a few times and click on the O and you see it takes out from the O. So you can go through and continue doing this with all the letters.
Okay, so now we've done it all, and you see it just gives our text a fun new look by doing that. Another way to edit text is by using the character panel. What you can do is go up to Window, and once again, find Type, and then click Character, and it will open up your character panel over here. We're going to click the Type tool and type Font Bundles again. Let's go ahead and enlarge it so we're able to see our text. And then on the character window, you are able to move the letters closer to each other. If you have multiple lines of text, you can make them further or closer. You can also make the characters bigger. So you can adjust all of these things in the character window as well. So I hope you guys had fun watching this lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button for future Adobe Illustrator lessons. Thank you guys. Have a great day.